And then after the fight, she said she needed, when I asked her about Cyborg, she's like, yeah, I'm getting surgery. She's like, I'm get, I got something wrong with my thumb or something. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, she's going to get some surgery. And then, then it became a PED issue. She said that Cyborg is a lifetime PED cheater, that she's a performance enhancing drug user and that everybody knows it and she's not going to fight her. So she basically just gave up her title and went back down to 35, I think. So she is fighting again. I don't know if she went and got surgery on whatever was go going on with her hand, but uh, she is going to fight again. But she hasn't since, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. I don't think so either. See if you can find that. See, Jermaine Durandamy, see what she's, who she's fighting next. She hasn't tweeted since November mm. about a fight then. Damn, November. Yeah, yeah. that didn't happen. See, that's a person not investing in social media. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing it right or are you doing it wrong? I don't know. She's right. like, I'm just not interested in this anymore. <laughs> yeah. What's crazy, because this is how fucking tough Cyborg is. Jermaine Durandamy fought a dude and KO'd him. I mean, there's a Muay Thai She's fight with her wars. fighting a dude. Yeah. I remember when I first started fighting and like getting pointed at looking at like that. Like, here's why you want to learn Muay Thai. And I mm -hmm. was watching her. I was like, that girl is. She's a beast. gnarly. She's nasty. been through some wars, and she's yeah. like older too. No, I mean I can't say older. I'm she's like one of the older ones now, but she, she's, she's older than me. Little, little older than you. Yeah. yeah. But she, um, she fucked up a dude. She KO'd a dude with a straight right hand. Yeah. I mean it's, uh, I mean, and then she, she fought a guy, like knew it was a guy, signed up to fight a guy, fought him, beat him, and then like cyborg. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so scared she is a cyborg. Damn. Which I get it. I fucking get it. Cyborg walking around 182 pounds. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> he just carries you around <laughs> on your hip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a, a really open division, uh, 145 right now. And Megan Anderson is about to fight. Is, is that at 45 Holly. or 35? I believe that's at 45. Oh, Megan sense. Anderson's big that's girl. She's big. She's a big girl. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a legit 45er. She's, mm -hmm. she's strong. She's in her prime. She's really tough. She's good at everything. You know, she's a legit girl. And fighting Holly in her first fight in the UFC also like shows how much they think of her. But I mean, how many fighters do they have at forty five? There's right. like fucking three. I mean, who the fuck is there? You got Holly who uh, fought Cyborg and lost. And then you know what, what else you got? You got Megan Anderson who was over in Invicta. And most people, other than the hardcore fans, don't know about her, mm -hmm. you know. And she, you know, she's trying to get her name out there. So what do we got here? Th is that the whole division? Yeah, it's four. Jeez. That's the whole division. Yeah. Jeez. Jesus Christ. Oh, Yana is on there too. Well, Yana fought Cyborg. She's little, isn't she? She got nuked. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, I mean, she did her best, right? She. When did she fight Cyborg? Same night I fought. Uh, UFC two two two. Mm. The July, er. She looked good until Cyborg got a hold of her. It's just like one of those things where when Cyborg starts landing on girls, you see the look in their face. You're like, <laughs> what in the fuck? Abort, abort. What am I doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was most impressed with Cyborg on her kickboxing loss when she when she fought Jorina Barge. Did you ever see that fight? Mm -mm. She fought her in Muay Thai. Jarena yes. Barge is a fucking beast, yes. man. I remember she was kneeing her from yeah. across the room in the face. Yeah, Barge wow. knocked her down with a, a front kick to the face, and she dropped her. And and, ta and still, Cyborg was still chasing after her for every fucking round. Yeah. I was like, that girl's legit. I mean, she's she's big and she's strong, and she's but mentally she's tough too. Like she's, I mean, to just to fight that girl, like Jarena Barge had, she had, I think almost three years without a fight where she couldn't get a fight because nobody wanted to fight her because hmm. she's just a fucking badass Muay Thai fighter. Real long and tall and just classic Dutch style Muay Thai. You know, yeah. and um, Cyborg stepped up, fought her in Lion Fight. I mean, when she was like the most feared MMA fighter in the world and said, fuck it, I'll take a Muay Thai fight. And with yeah. like zero Muay Thai professional fights. Mm -hmm. Fought like one of the best girls ever. It's really pretty uh, admirable you yeah. know how badass she is in that regard that was cool but you know when you have a division that's that small it's like what what do they do yeah. you know i mean what are you gonna grow girls make them get bigger <laughs> like hey girls uh, want some food <laughs> 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 I mean, here you go you know i mean Eat this that. isn't this isn't the pride days where they could just fill them up with um, you know, whatever the fuck Gabby Garcia is on, and you know, and to toss them out there. They they have to be legit, you know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. 
yeah i mean it's it's a it's a weird situation because i i mean i don't i don't follow enough to to know what is out there do you follow in, invicta or do you uh pay attention to any other uh organizations outside the ufc no no, I'm mean, and honestly, I don't watch the UFC that much either because I like I don't have cable. <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't no, I have Netflix and a DVD player.